Hello guys, this is Danimal and welcome to episode 3 of my series Hybrid Challenge. And in this episode, we first of all show you my last game with the team from my last episode with second in form Jovetic and Babakar. And in this match, Babakar really kind of shows off and uh, scores 5 goals in the end. But this team, I really did love them. Um, I loved playing with them. They they just felt really good. The chemistry really worked between them, and every player complemented each other. That's what I kind of look for in squads. That the the team is kind of balanced. That you don't have one player that everything goes to. I know in this match, Babacar scores everything. But when the opponent saw my team, he took into account, oh, he has second in form Jovetic, I must watch him. He had a, a non-rare BPL team, which really are amazing teams. And Lukaku is quite dangerous, but that was the final goal there. And you, as you can see, five goals from Babacar. So I had to go out and buy the 52nd goal player in the market and the 25th silver player. For this episode, one of the things I was told about for from my last episode was to try and make it more natural and what I sound like in real life. My friends told me this, that I was saying am um, and ah uh, too much. So in this episode, I'm trying to make myself more natural and I hope it makes the commentary a bit more quality. But we're looking here for the 50 second player and it turns out to be, I think I went too far. No, here I am. It's, it's in farm Routledge, right mid or right wing. I can't really see it. And the silver player I got is Baia Bayani, the French right mid with Parma in Syria A. But I had two right mids and right wing, so I had to use 3 4 2 1. But I will bring you on to the next part of the video. Hello guys, this is the team. Well, this is the formation anyway. Um, Routledge right wing. I put Routledge right wing instead of by Bayani because I was hoping that Routledge would have better shooting than by Bayani because of his being an inform. But anyway, we go along with the team. In goals, I have Fernando Press. Inform plays with Vasco de Gama. 86 reflexes, 83 diving. He, did, he was actually very fairly decent for me and um, didn't make any mistakes like a lot of other Brazilian goalkeepers his link in the team is Felipe Santana in form he's a very good defender he has good pace of course when you have three at the back you would like to get a bit of pace just to stop other team if they have three wingers for example you do need a bit of pace in them centre backs and he did that job the link with by Bayani in the defence is Santa Croce, also plays with Parma, 79 pace, 75 defending and 75 heading. Quite a good player also, a bit like Gambarini. Third centre back is Mancien. He brings in the English side, which actually comes around to Routledge, but he is 74 pace, 73 defending and 74 heading. He's a good player as well, decent pace, not as good as I was hoping him to be, but he's quite a decent player the left mid in this team is Ashley Young I actually felt that Ashley Young and Bayabiani were kind of wasted in this formation I don't know I just didn't really enjoy them I didn't get the best out of them because I have played with the two of them before at right at right wing and left wing and I thought they were much better on to the first centre mid it's Luis Gustavo he's as most people know, he's quite a tank. Six foot two, seventy-seven pace, fifty-six shooting. Really doesn't lie. Seventy-five passing, seventy-eight dribbling, dribbling even, eighty-two defending, and seventy-six hitting. He's a very good player. You could actually play him at centre back if you wanted to. I got a player sent off in one of the matches, moved them back to centre back. Still did a great job. The second centre mid you might have seen is Felipe Coutinho. He's a very good player. He um he's good for assists. His shooting isn't great, but 
four star skills he's a very good small nifty player beats players he's good to pass off the ball he's got 80 pace 72 passing 82 dribbling are his main stats he's only got 63 shooting so that shows his bad shooting you could also get McCousel or McCousel or however you want to say it he also fits in there of course if he had the CM to CM card he would have full, full chemistry but I actually liked Felipe Coutinho in this formation more the left wing I have is not in this formation it's Sinclair from one of my squad builders before he's a, also a great player um, well worth the price tag in my opinion I got him quite a while ago for 56k but look at his goals to games record 586 and 568 which is quite amazing he's um he's well worth the coins and the striker to link Routledge and Sinclair is Lita uh, he's also a player ahead before didn't change the formation because it didn't affect the chemistry as you can see 99 chemistry uh, the one disappointment I have to say in this team has to be Inform Routledge. I would definitely go for Inform Dyer if I was to make this squad. But I didn't want to change out Routledge since I got him in the random player. Routledge I really didn't enjoy. Uh, also the thing I didn't enjoy about this team was the formation. I really didn't like it. Um, it just... I think the wings were kind of too compacted, if that's possible, but I don't know, I just didn't like it, and Young and Bibiani were really wasted, so um, that's the team guys. And while you were watching the clips after I built the team, I didn't play a lot of matches with this team because I didn't really enjoy playing with the team, but if I was to make the team, as I said, I would definitely go for Dyer or Inform Dyer instead of Routledge but to be honest I wouldn't really build this team but look at this team I come up against here Um, I was shocked when I saw it but four minutes in I made a run with Sinclair passed it back to Routledge he scored on his second goal and this is what happens thanks for watching guys Um, please leave a like comment and please tell me if you think I can improve anymore. Thank you.